Hi, I'm Nazim Lawson, and I'm very happy to inform you that one of my recent research works has been selected for publication in a reputed journal. So what you can see in my hand is a UWB antenna that I developed with my friend studying PhD at Oxford. And uh, we also developed the MIME antenna array versions of this single element antenna. And I'm going to demonstrate the functionalities of this antenna in a while. Please bear with me. Thank you. Today, I'm going to show you my recent research work, which is related to UWB MIME array. And it has been published in Microwave and Optical Technology Letters Journal in this month. And we conducted this research work in collaboration with my friend at Oxford. And we developed this UWB MIME antenna array. So yeah, you can see a 2 by 2 MIMO antenna array. And the second one, it's a 4 by 4 UWB MIME antenna array. And both of them are made of this single element UWB antenna. So basically this antenna is uh, a slot etched UWB antenna which is uh, fed by this 50 ohm microstrip transmission line and at the end we connected this 50 ohm SMA connector and we took this SMA connector into consideration during the analysis and design cycle so the microstrip to coax transition is quite transparent and we've got this fabulous matching in measurement vessels. Basically, this is the radiator of this antenna having these two triangular slots. And we've got these six rectangular slots at the upper edge to control the input impedance matching. We also loaded this radiator with this U-shaped parasitic stub. And this is a monopole antenna, more specifically, it's a DGS monopole antenna. That means we modified the ground plane by these uh, slots. The location of these slots control the bandwidth of this antenna. As we all know that the current distribution in the ground plane will greatly influence the behavior of a monopole antenna. And we also uh, developed this MIME antenna array by exploiting polarization diversity where the polarization of individual elements will not interfere with one another and that will ensure low mutual coupling between these all elements. And we also developed an equivalent circuit model of the proposed monopole antenna. As you can see, we developed this uh, circuit Basically, we model this antenna by using these LC uh, cascaded resonators. And these are the line inductance and resistances. And also we model the stub by using this inductance and capacitance. And uh, this circuit has been developed in Keysight ADS. And we compared this uh, model with the full wave electromagnetic model in HFSS. So we've got this very good matching between the equivalent circuit model and the full wave electromagnetic model. And uh, there you got this measurement and simulated reflection coefficient of this antenna. As I've already told you that we considered this connector in our design cycle and the measurement is very, very similar to the simulation. And we also conducted this time domain experiments where we uh, placed two identical antennas face to face, yeah, you can see uh, this is a transmitter antenna and this is a receiver antenna separated by 15 centimeter. And then we excited this transmitter antenna by using this fifth order Gaussian pulse having a peak magnitude of A and a time constant of sigma. And then we measured the uh, receiver pulse. So this was the transmitted pulse and that was the uh, receiver pulse. So uh, this antenna retains the shape of the transmitted pulse and that means this is not dispersive antenna. And any UWB antenna or any wideband antenna should have this property uh, for reliable communication. And because of the free space attenuation, we obviously got this uh, less magnitude in the 
receiver antenna, you can see the magnitude, peak to peak magnitude is almost to the 5 millivolts where the transmitted pulse was almost 1 volt. So we developed this uh, MIME antenna arrays, 2x2 two two and 4x4, four four, and we calculated the isolation, ECC plots, and diversity gain, and the channel capacity loss. So uh, if, if you are eager to conduct further research on our work, you can read this paper in Microwave and Optical Technology Letters website and uh, feel free to post any question uh, if you are more interested to know our, about our research work please visit our website and uh, thank you very much for watching this video